listening to the Fun with Horror podcast with your hosts, Scotty and Andrew. Well, hello, everybody out there. Welcome to uh, a very special bonus episode of Fun with Horror. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, hi, Andrew. Hi, Scotty. Um, well, Sunday night was the uh, Fangoria Chainsaw Awards, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. And, you know, normally you and I would just, you know, we just talk during the week and we'd, like, discuss who won and who we predicted might win and stuff like that, but figured let's let's do a little mini episode, a little bonus episode, right? Yeah, exactly. I think this is going to be awesome, man. So well, yeah, we're just we're just going to we're just going to talk about cuz we both love Fangoria. Heck yeah. We like horror movies. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh buddy. Oh, the, it is the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. And so, we like to talk to each other. That's right. So that's what we're going to do and you guys get to listen. Great. Yep. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's. I mean, let's just start. Let's uh, let's go through. We're gonna go through all the nominees. Uh, we're gonna talk about who we thought would win or who we wanted to win. Actually, not really who we thought, but right, right. Who we would have picked. Mm-hmm. And then, and then we'll say who got really got picked, and we'll we'll talk about that. Whatever. Yeah, I think that sounds fun, dude. <sighs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Wait, what was I going to say? Oh, I was also going to say uh just keep in mind, buddy, um and this is something we'll talk about too. This is not these winners are not chosen by like a panel or anything like that. They're chosen by us. Right. Right, right, right. Like, people had a chance to write in and and pick um pick who they wanted to win. And I think I can't remember. Never mind. I think I was going to say that maybe people were able to help pick the nominees as well. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. But I don't think so. I don't oh. know. I don't know. That could be just talking out my butt. Hey, that'd be a sight for sore eyes. So, funny enough, the very first category yes. was my my favorite category. Oh, yeah. Um, It, it was best score. Nice. Yeah, dude. So, our, our nominees were <laughs> Halloween Kills by John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, and Daniel Davies. Nice. Uh, Come True by Electric Youth and Pilot Priest. The Night House by Ben Lovett. In Mm. the Earth by Clint Mansell. And Hurt by Tom Schrader and C.J. Johnson. Nice. What do you think of that? uh, I've only (laughs) seen a couple of them. um, Yeah. But of them all, (laughs) I picked Halloween Kills. You would have picked Halloween Kills? I would have picked Halloween Kills. I think so, too, because... Like you, I've only heard the score to the Night House and Halloween Kills. Yeah, and I think I think I mentioned we did an episode on the Night House. Yes, we did. I think I mentioned that it was a pretty good score. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, Halloween Kills just has everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, the only other one I've kind of heard is Come True, and that's because Waxwork Records uh, they released. Uh, the the soundtrack on their label. Oh, cool! And so I listened to it once, and I was like, "Oh, that sounds interesting." But I wanted to see the movie first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So and yeah, Halloween Kills won. Nice. Everybody else picked it. Nice. Uh, which is step one in a point I'm gonna make later on. But let's move on. Ah, okay. <laughs> Best supporting performance was next, and this has quite a few nominees, buddy. Yeah, there was for. Lead two, I believe there was just a lot of people, which is great. I love it. Yeah, and that's something interesting that they did. Like with best uh, actor mm-hmm. or best performance and best supporting performance, they don't they don't separate it into genders. Right. Yep. And I think that's an interesting decision. Yeah. Um, I I like it. I, I. Yeah, it's it's interesting, and we'll talk about it. I guess maybe. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the nominees. <laughs> were Luke David Blum from Sun, which I've never heard of. Not me either. Jennifer L. from St. Maud. I've heard of that one. I've heard of it, too. Mm-hmm. 
It's kind of on my list. Mm, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Fessenden from Jacob's Wife, also on my list. Yeah. Vincent or Vincent Lindon from Titan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Diana Rigg from Last Night in Soho. Nice. Yep. Bill Sage from Wrong Turn, which I I didn't even know came out this past year. But I didn't there either. You go. I kind of forgot. I for, well, I did, but I forgot about it. Yeah. Um, Millicent Simmons from A Quiet Place Part 2. Yeah, dude. Jeremy T. Thomas from Antlers. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And Suzanne Voss from Dementia Part 2, which hmm. I have heard of, actually. I've seen a trailer for that one. Really? I do not know that one. And, uh, of course, we have episodes for Titan and Antlers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. um, now, Millicent Simmons was the winner. Is that who you would have picked? I. It was between her and Vincent from Titan, and I actually yeah. picked, I picked him. You did? I did. I can't remember who I picked. <laughs> I might have picked Millicent for this one. Nice. It really, honestly, it was a coin toss, but he his... Well, we talk about it in our episode, but oh, he was yeah. just so good in that uh, in that movie. Yeah, and I I don't know if you've if I've ever told you, but I really like Titan. <laughs> <laughs> you do? I what? I mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I was she. I'm I'm really glad she won though. I am too. She's a she. She was phenomenal and phenomenal. Excuse me, in that movie as well. And so. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I said, it was and a coin toss. It made me want to watch part two again pretty soon. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, and plus, when she, I, I'll be honest, mm -hmm. when I was watching the award show, she, and they had her via Zoom or mm -hmm. Skype or whatever, or sh maybe a pre-recorded, uh, because they sent everybody the the trophies, which is an awesome trophy, by the way. Oh. It's a. It's like a golden skull with a golden chainsaw, like <laughs> embedded in it. That's so awesome. <laughs> and it's funny at the beginning of the award show, they said that they sent these trophies, and but you had to put them together, and <gasps> they forgot to send instructions. So <laughs> you notice during the show, you notice that some people put the chainsaw backwards, and <laughs> <laughs> but she she accepted her award uh, in sign language. Oh, that's so and cool. That's awesome. I got a little misty. I got to admit it, dude. I totally get that, man. That's I love yeah. that. That's beautiful. Because, I mean, she's so good. And the Academy, they're never going to nominate somebody like her because it's a horror movie. Exactly. You know? Um, yep. So I, you know, that's why I'm glad these awards exist. Because Me this too. is a very prestigious uh, magazine to award these awards for people that deserve to be recognized, you know? Yep. Exactly. And I like and I like that the people get to help with it. I mean, it's not just this random group that picks whoever they want. It's the people, which is awesome. I love that. I do and I don't. Oh, okay. And I'll get to that after we go through all of them. All right, all right, fair enough. I may know why you don't, but yeah, we'll we'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you probably do. Yeah. Um best first feature was the next one. Oh man. Oh, there. And it is. this okay. was yeah, this was funny because we both were going to pick the same one. It's uh, the the nominees were Censor, mm -hmm. <laughs> My Heart Can't Beat Unless You Tell It To, Saint Maud, mm -hmm. The Stylist, and The Vigil. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you and I have only seen one of those movies. That's right. And that's what I picked. <laughs> <laughs> I would have picked Censor too, but yeah. I haven't seen Saint Maud, which won. Right. Yes. So. And Saint Maud was mentioned quite a few times during these awards, so now nice. it's it's pretty high up my list now. Ooh, good. I've also heard the vigil is uh, one to look out for. Oh, mm -hmm. did you mention that to me at one point? I don't know if I did. I know uh, Chris Stuckman, who we watch on YouTube, mentioned it. Uh, okay. And did a review on it, and so that yeah, was what kind of sparked my interest. I'm wondering if you mentioned it during your year end. Oh, I might have. Uh, yeah, I, need I to think go I back did. And listen to that. Jeez. Yeah. I'm terrible. <laughs> I, no, I don't remember either, but I, I think you might be right. <laughs> uh, best Creature FX um, <laughs> was next. And we have uh, Barry Gower for The Green Knight, mm -hmm. Robert Kurtzman for Black Friday, Legacy FX and Shane Mann for Antlers, 
Mm -hmm. McGee FX and Gaslight Studio for VHS 94. Nice. Mm -hmm. And Masters FX, Stephen Kostansky for PG Psycho Goreman. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know for a fact that I picked Psycho Goreman. I know for a fact I did too. You did? You I picked did. it over Antlers? I did. Um with the creature effects, I mean it was I you know, you know how much I love practical effects and that whole yeah. movie was basically practical effects. So I definitely Yeah, but Antlers was too. Like that was a pretty amazing creature. You're right. That's true. But the, I I just felt like PG just had so many characters and they were all really unique looking and so I gave it to him for sure. I was like that I'll I, however I may feel about the movie <laughs> I, they, did, they did some pretty sweet creatures so I love that yeah <laughs> and you really I want you to at least go watch Stephen Kostansky accepting the award okay <laughs> it's 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 really awesome nice okay and it's funny it'll make you laugh <laughs> uh let's see what's next uh best streaming premiere movie oh here's another oh this is this is interesting because we've actually seen one of these that you might not expect. The Boy Behind the Door. Yes. Fear Street 1666. Or 1666. <laughs> Lucky, The Power, and Violation. Yes. So. <laughs> you know what I picked. I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we both picked Fear Street, 1666. Yeah. But, again, there's three movies that I have barely heard of. Yeah, I know. Which is and which is great, because these are all movies that can now go on our list. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But, I mean, also, God bless you, man. You picked The Boy Behind the Door as one of our movies, and <laughs> I would have never heard of that movie except for you. Aw, thanks, buddy. That's awesome. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> best documentary. And we've got Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched, Mail Order Murder, Dark Shadows and Beyond the Jonathan Frid story. I put N.A. on this. I, I have not yeah, seen any of too. them. So I, Same. I but Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched was the winner. Okay. I'll be honest, man. Like, when I saw the... When I saw the little thing about each of them, I'm not sure I really want to watch any of them. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe oh. Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, hmm. maybe yeah. Mail get... order murder. I mean, is that is that like a true crime thing? Oh, probably yeah. And I'm not into true crime. Yeah. I get you, dude. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Achievement in nonfiction. So yeah. we have The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. Elvira's 40th anniversary, <laughs> very scary, very special, special. <laughs> and the Boulay Brothers' Dragula. Nice. I'm curious. You, what did you pick on this one? No, nah, I want to hear you first. All right. I, I picked well, Joe Bob. Yeah. Well, you, you haven't watched Boulay Brothers. I haven't, I so I can't, I can't judge that one. I, and I, Elvira I love with all my heart dearly, but I just so, I know Joe Bob a little more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I love Elvira, too. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't see that special. Right. Right. As much I do love Joe Bob, and, and I love what he's done for the horror community mm -hmm. and what he continues to do. There's just a huge fan following on yeah. Twitter for The Last Drive-In. Yeah. And that would almost sway me, except I really, really loved the Boulay Brothers' Dragula. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we watched season four last last year, as you know. Yep, yep. And absolutely loved it. So I picked that one. Nice. A uh, little vote went its way from me. I love that. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I do want to watch that. I it's it's again, my list is huge. But yes, that is on my list. Is for well, let me just watch. throw this out there, buddy. Yeah. They now have uh, seasons two and three. Oh, as cool. As well as season four. So. Right on. And I think they're working on getting season one, but I don't know if it's on Shutter just yet. Okay. Good but to yeah, know. But yeah, I, I highly, highly, <laughs> that was a weird way of saying that, but I <laughs> highly, <laughs> highly, 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 Lee, how you doing? Hi. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Okay. I really hope um, we get a listener named Lee for this episode. This is his oh, first episode. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> best makeup FX. Mm, All right, yeah. we got Tara Brawley for Hurt, mm. Mark Coulier for Blood Red Sky, Francois Dejeuner for Spiral from the Book of Saw, mm -hmm. Christopher Nelson for Halloween Kills, and Oriane Deneuve for from CLS FX Atelier sixty nine for Candisha. Nice. And that's a, I mean, I'll be honest, it's a tough one because we, okay, th again, three movies I've barely heard of. Right, same. But we've both seen Halloween Kills and we've both seen Spiral. Mm -hmm. What did you pick? In fact, for all those listening, we have an episode for each of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when we say we've seen the movie, it's basically because we have an episode for it. <laughs> Except for Last Night in Soho. That's right. Yep. Um... So this one was tough. I, I again, kind of a, a luck of the draw, but I, I actually went with Spiral on this one. Did you? I did. Oh. I know. It um, is a tough one. Yeah. The the makeup effects were really good in Spiral. I thought so, too. Yep. There was some really, without spoiling it, there were some really gruesome scenes, and some of the makeup that was used was well, very well done. I can't remember what I picked, but I think I picked Halloween Kills. Nice. Again, great, great choice. Yeah, I mean, you could go either way. Yeah. Uh, and Halloween go. one, right? Oh, no, Halloween kills. You're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Halloween like, one wait. came out in like seventy nine, wasn't it? Seventy <laughs> seven. Wait, it did. I thought that oh, was just the best. What year did it come out? I'm <laughs> terrible right now. I can't remember. Seventy. No, seventy nine. I think. I think okay, seventy nine. Yeah, you know these things. Wow. Yeah, Halloween kills. Uh, was the winner. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Such a brat. <laughs> Halloween one? No. Halloween kills. Halloween uh, best two? best screenplay. Ah. Uh, we got Prano, Bailey Bond, and Anthony Fletcher for Censor. Mm hmm John Shu, Fu Kai Ling, Qian Shi Keng for Detention. Oh. Ben Collins, Luke Piotrowski, or Piotrowski for The Night House. Rose Glass for Saint Maud, mm -hmm. and Madeleine Simfure and Dusty Mancellini, or Mancinelli, I, I apologize for Violation. Ooh, and uh, yeah, what would you what would you pick? We we've seen The Night House and we've seen Censor. So of those two, I think I personally liked Censor more, so I I, I picked that one. I did too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I might like the story. Mm -hmm. better but as far as the screenplay goes right i don't know the dialogue just stuck with me more for censor yep and i consider the dialogue also a big part of the screenplay obviously right 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 so yeah i would have picked censor but the night house was the winner okay right on so not surprised but yep uh okay we got best costume design next this is a, this is an interesting one too. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Lizzie Cook for Candyman. Mm -hmm. Odile Dix Miro for Last Night in Soho. Mm -hmm. Yulin Colette Hufke for Bingo Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Chieko Matsumoto for Prisoners of the Ghost Land, and Neil McLean for Slumber Party Massacre, the remake. <laughs> oh wow, that's right. So we've seen two of those, mm -hmm. and oh see. Uh, this is a tough one for me. Yeah, me too. Because, I mean, I think I picked Last Night in Soho. Mm -hmm. Because as uh, as much as I love Candyman, mm -hmm. the costumes in Last Night in Soho were fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone, yeah, they were fantastic, I agree. But I, I picked Candyman. You did? I oh, did. See, I, and I knew... I love you. I love you. I knew I I knew <laughs> last night in Soho would win, but I was like, ah, I just loved the style of Candyman. Everyone looked great in it. Yeah, so I, I went yeah. with it. Both were great, right. though. Both were great. Both choices. were great. Yeah. Next, we have best international movie, and uh, oh, you know, you know my pick: Attention, <laughs> The Feast, Lamb, The Queen of Black Magic, hmm. and Titan. Yeah, I picked the same one that you did, my man. <laughs> and so did everybody else. Everybody picked Titan, which made me very happy. That's awesome. Much deserved. Much deserved. Great movie. Um, <laughs> you've, you've seen it, right? 
Wait, what's it about? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me what it's about without making this episode uh, <laughs> profane? Uh, do you like cars? <laughs> I hear it's about a girl who really likes cars. That's exactly Car what it is. Car enthusiast, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, exactly what movie. it is <laughs> such a crazy good movie okay best yeah. series <laughs> oh yeah uh, yeah we got brand new cherry flavor mm -hmm. chucky yeah creep show yeah i know what you did last summer mm -hmm. and midnight mass yeah <laughs> what did you pick buddy uh of those ones that i've seen they're all of all of the ones i've seen on there are great but i Went with one that you recommended to me, my friend. Oh, good. Midnight See? Mass. <laughs> okay. And I know that you know that I picked Midnight Mass. Yeah. Yeah. I figured. <laughs> but I see, I wasn't sure because I know you really like Chucky. So I did, but Midnight Mass w stuck with so me. So good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's above and beyond. And it won. Good. Yeah. I ha am I saying the winner of all these? I hope I am. Uh, yeah. 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 You have been. <laughs> yep. You're good. <laughs> okay. Uh, best limited release movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we have Come True, Hurt, In the Earth, which, again, I, like this looks really interesting to me. I, I, I want to look up this movie because I'd never heard of it. Mm -hmm. uh, PG Psycho Goreman <laughs> and Werewolves Within. Ah, which is one I want to see. And you've only seen one of these. Yep, so I picked it. <laughs> did you pick it or did you say N-A? <laughs> no, no, I picked PG. I did. Well, so did I, and it won. <laughs> nice. But that's the only one I've seen. That's four movies we need to see. I know, man. This is crazy. Like I said, this is a great show for us just to get some more movies to put down. Yeah, what it. are we even doing? Psh, I don't know. Picking Dr. Giggles <laughs> when we could be watching Come True. Dang it, Scotty. Come on, Scotty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting, we're getting there. Yeah, um, we're, yeah. Best lead performance. Mm -hmm. And this is another one. It's got a lot of nominees. Yeah. And a lot of good ones, too. So we've got Yahya Abdul-Mateen II for Candyman. Uh, Neve Algar for Censor. Mm -hmm. Morfeed Clark for St. Maud. Barbara Crampton for Jacob's Wife. Mm -hmm. Rebecca Hall for The Night House. Thomasin McKenzie for Last Night in Soho. Agat Rousset for Titan. Mm -hmm. Adeline Simfur for Violation, Julia Sarah Stone for Come True, and Anya Taylor-Joy for Last Night in Soho. Nice. Now, who would you have picked <laughs> out of all those, buddy? I, I picked out of all of them, and the ones, again, the movies I've seen were all fantastic, so much deserved. They were all deserved to be nominated. Um, but my, my overall, man, was Yaya from Candyman. Really? It was, yeah. I think I picked a got. Oh for, yeah, because I thought I'm you know again I yep. love Candyman. Yep. <laughs> but Titan is like my second favorite horror movie of last year. Yep. And I thought she was unbelievably good. Or agreed, agreed. She was like fantastic. such. She did. She put herself out there so much. Mm hmm. It was just nuts. Yep. I the way she transformed during. Oh come on, man. Yeah, dude. Nope, I agree. But everybody else picked Yaya. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So of course I'm happy. Yep. Yep. But now tell me, yeah, were you surprised that Anya was not the winner? Um, no, um, I don't think so. Even though I know she, like, she's, you know, been to the Oscars and all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I wasn't. I guess. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was a little, I was a little surprised. Right on. So, um, but I'm, yeah, I'm very happy that Yaya won. Me too. Uh, now, now we have Best Director. Oh, right. We've got Prano Bailey Bond for Censor. We've mm -hmm. got David Bruckner for The Night House. Anthony Scott Burns for Come True. Julia Ducournau for Titan. Rose Glass for St. Maud. And Edgar Wright for Last Night in Soho. Nice. I bet I know who you picked. Who do you think I picked? I would say Titan. Yes, yeah. I picked Julia <laughs> Ducournau. Who did nice. you pick? I actually didn't. Even though I loved it done, I That's actually fine. picked That's uh, fine, but Prano for censor. <gasps> you did? I did. Wait, so let me ask you a question. Did okay. you did you like censor more than Titan? Mm. I don't know. 
<laughs> I got to think about what that. What if I, if Andrew, mm-hmm. gun to your head right now, you have to watch one of these two movies, Censor or Titan, right now. Which one do you pick? Oh, I think Censor, dude. Okay, there you go. There's the answer. Yeah. Now, Edgar Wright won. Oh, okay. I, so I they, love Edgar Wright. I do. I do, too. Yep. I do, too. And, I mean, it was a great movie. It was. Yep. So, now this one, yeah, this one, The Best Kill. It, <laughs> it yeah. doesn't have any nominees. Uh, this was one where people just wrote in their favorite kill. I love that. <laughs> and, okay, would you have said The Bread Slicer from Fear Street 1994? A great kill, but it, I, I actually didn't even think of that one. To be honest, really? uh-uh. what would you? What did you write in? I, uh, mine's kind of more of a massacre, but I oh. did not from Texas Chainsaw. No, no, but oh, from man. Malignant. <laughs> I did. Oh, good one. There's, yeah, I won't say what, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that one stuck with me. So, see, this was something I really appreciated about the awards show too. Mm-hmm. Is that Felisa Rose from Sleepaway Camp presented nice. this award. And it was really nice because, uh, you know, she said that it was the uh, the bread slicer, but they didn't show it. Oh, so they that's didn't good. spoil it. If you don't know what the bread slicer is, you still don't. That's which awesome. Is nice, yeah, very nice. That's cool. I love that. So, so we come to the end. Wait, wait, the, wait. What did the, you pick? Oh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I picked the bread slicer. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. That's my favorite kill of the year. Oh, dude, that's I, I awesome. I wrote that down. That was one of the people that wrote that down. Wow. So. I love it. Yeah, man. So good. Yeah, it was good. I mean, that it caught me so off guard. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. In the movie. So, yep. like, just, just the sheer brutality of it <laughs> and just the timing of it also was just like, oh. Yep. Oh, man. Nope, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Finally, last category, best wide release movie. Right. So we have Malignant, Mm -hmm. Candyman, Last Night in Soho, The Night House, Mm -hmm. and A Quiet Place Part 2. What did you pick? I I think, well, you should know what I picked. I don't You should. I think you're drawing a blank. And I'll, I'll I'll let you draw that blank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was my favorite horror movie of last year? I I actually just said it a little bit ago. Well, I thought it was. No. Oh, a quiet place too. No. Candyman. Yes. There we go. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I picked Candyman. Candy <laughs> okay. That's what I picked. I mean, I love Malignant too, but Candyman. Yeah. And funny enough, this was the one category where I've seen all five movies. And you have too. That's true. Oh yeah. man. But Malignant oh, one. Funny. Okay, right. On. Which, wow. Yeah. Um, which I kind of had a feeling it would. Mm-hmm. People have been. There's a huge championship behind it. People, yeah. You know, picking Malignant. Uh, you know, they wanted it to win that fan favorite award, that Army of the Dead one at the Oscars. Right. Which was interesting. <laughs> yeah. And see, for there, I would have picked Malignant. Yeah, but, yeah. Because everybody was campaigning for Malignant to win that. So yeah. it makes sense that it won this one. Yeah. Um, yep. But yeah, I obviously, I would have picked Candyman. Yeah. I, I just thought it was incredible. That movie was fantastic. Now, that's, the, that's it. So that's all of them. Nice. Um, and yeah, now I will tell you what I don't like about everybody picking. Yes, please. And I think you know, though. Yeah, um, I, yeah. What's here, though? It becomes a popularity contest. Yep. And there's a lot of movies that I think a lot of people have not seen. Yep. yep. You know? Um, that said, there are a few surprises, but not, not really that many. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot, of, a lot of the choices were the most popular movie that most people would have seen. Right. Like, even Best Creature Effects... More people have probably seen Psycho Goreman than The Green Knight, Black Friday, Antlers, and VHS 94. That's probably true. Yep. And there, like, people were really split on Antlers when it came out, so. That's true. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, no, I get If you that. look at all these categories, some of them it came down to who was, who was more popular, like Yaya winning over Anya Taylor-Joy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
you know i would have see i just i think if more people had seen titan mm -hmm. i really wonder if see that's why i kind of do wish it was a panel of people judging right instead of just the public that's true no i get that i do um because and then it makes me wonder too because a lot of these movies that we haven't seen mm -hmm. would they be my favorite you know what I mean? I've never seen. I know exactly what you mean. Like, what if the vigil? I've never seen it, but what if I watch and I'm like, "Wow, that was the best movie of the year." I don't know. I what if it. I watch Hurt and I'm like, "That was a piece of crap." Right. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm glad another movie. W no, no, just <laughs> kidding. You know, In yeah. the Earth or Hurt, any of these come true. Saint Maud. Right. Movies on my list. Yep. We've got so many movies. I mean, we are. <laughs> We are going to have to quit our jobs and do at least two ep two episodes a week. Okay. So we can watch all these. All right. I will. Here's what I'll do. I quit my job right now, and I'm going to send this to my boss right after this. Right, right now? Listen to the end. Yep. Because that's funny. I, I quit before I even said that. <gasps> what? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Look at us. Fun with horror for life. <laughs> we'll get it tattooed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Uh, well, that was fun. That was nice. I mean, yeah, this was a cool little episode, man. It was fun. Yeah, I liked it. Um, you know, it just, I told you earlier, but I'll tell everybody else out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just, it reminds me of the, the night that I was driving back <laughs> from, uh, I was driving across country from Florida to California, mm -hmm. and I needed some company on the road mm -hmm. and i i knew that whenever you and i talk on the phone <laughs> we we can talk for hours <laughs> it's true and i forget if you if we had the article in mind beforehand but there was an article about like the 20 best horror movies on netflix or something yeah. or yeah. on streaming and we just went through the list and talked about each movie <laughs> and it was so much fun <laughs> that was awesome dude I mean, that's one of the things that sticks in my mind as to why I wanted to even do this podcast. You Aww. Because that was such a good time. It was, man. We did that. Yeah. It, it, that's, I, I mean, I get why we enjoyed this so much because we've always enjoyed doing this. It's, mm -hmm. This is just another another fun time with Scotty and Andrew on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, you... Everybody out there, you can expect more small episodes like this every once yeah. in a while when we think of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we just yeah. thought this was a good opportunity to uh, talk about some horror movies. Yeah. This was awesome. And I, yeah, this was your idea. I loved it. I was like, let's do it. So, yeah, definitely, you know, any of these awards or anything like this, I'm, I'm game, man. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's, and it's great. I hope that people, when they watch these awards or voted, Mm -hmm. I hope that even if they had only seen one or two movies, that it did the same thing that it's kind of doing to us. It makes them want to see the other movies yep. nominated. Yep. Agreed. So. Yeah. They're great, man. So. Well done, Fangoria. This was... Thank you. <laughs> well done, Fangoria. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's it. That's it, buddy. All right. <laughs> um, everybody out there, just thank you for listening. And uh, if you're still listening... Be sure to join us Tuesday uh, for our episode where we're, we discuss the new Firestarter. That's right. So, fire st I can't say Firestarter without saying it like the prodigy. Firestarter. <laughs> Firestarter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, man. <laughs> hey, you have a good night. You too, buddy. <laughs> and uh, love you, buddy. Love you, man. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.